What's up, everybody? This is Cheese and Mr. Poof, and I'm back with another episode of Hot Side Friday, your weekly dosage of Hearthstone content on the Cheese and Mr. Poof channel. And today, we will be playing something I quite enjoy playing, actually. It's the Lock and Load is back. And the reason it's back. Well, it never truly left now, didn't it? And I apologize for the knocking sound you might be hearing, because. That just, literally just started when I started recording, so I can't really help that. Anyway, here we have a lock and load deck. Now, why is it back? I mean, it seems pretty basic. Well, we have some newcomers in the deck. We have On the Hunt, a one-mana spell that deals one and gets us one one Mastiff. Now, that's pretty neat. And... Uh, well, Hunter's Mark got nerfed from 0 to 1 since I last played this deck. So that's kind of a bad thing. It used to be like we can, yeah, we have the 0 thing. We just drop it in there. We get some lock and load triggers. That's no longer the case. It costs 1. But I'm thinking of like cutting 1 summoning stone to putting a Thor's in to make the stuff cost cheaper. But uh, this is what we're rolling now. 1 Bear Trap. Double Explosive, Double Freezing, Double Heart of the Deck, Lock and Load, a Double Quick Shot, and Animal Companion, Power Shot, Unleash the Hound, that's all the spells. Now what do we have here? Uh, we're running Double Summoning Stone, which is a bit questionable, but we're trying it. We have Savannah High Main, Double, Call of the Wild, the newcomer of the deck, Double Time, summon all three Animal Companions. And it's because we are playing a deck that is mostly spells. The God of Death himself. I know, I know what you're saying. But Cheesy, you played Yogg-Saron deck uh, last time. Well, this isn't really Yogg-Saron deck. It's more of a lock and load deck. This is actually just the crazy finisher. And if there's nothing else we can do, no possible way to win the game, we're dropping Yogg. Otherwise, we're gonna try to win with a local load. I mean, we might just drop Yogg in there for funsies, but anyway, we're trying to make it for the lock and the load. And that's what we're gonna do today. So, without further ado, let's take the deck out for a spin. And uh, in my opinion, uh, casting a lot of spells with the lock and load and stuff like that. Uh, Yogg Saron is actually a really good tool for that deck. And uh, I feel like it's totally fine. Ah, yes. Let's find a worthy opponent and get into the games. And we did find the worthy opponent. Ah, oh, Thrall. Well, that makes me kind of scared. Because we all know what the shamans do in this metagame. Uh, keeping power shot... I kind of want to keep bear as well. Freezing is also pretty good, so I'm good with this opening hand. I don't have lock and load, but I have some good tools to deal with the shenanigans that is aggro shaman. And we draw on the hunt. We're not going to do that to the face because we are going to use it effectively. Hopefully. Let's drop the bear trap. that doesn't work, we have other tools. Haha! Bear trap. Now you used your attack already, so if you buff it, it will kind of be a waste. I see. And that is completely fine. We're gonna keep this in hand for now, because it's a lock and load trigger. We're gonna kill this. We're gonna hero power, and... Uh, He can buff that, and he can kill the bear, so... I'm going for the safe play and getting myself a Mastiff. I need a friend for the bear. And this guy's adorable. Frog number two. And the Totem Golem. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we get the look and load, but we are totally not ready for it yet. 
So, I feel like we're gonna do a power shot. That will be quite alright. We're gonna have to trade our board into it. But he's overloaded for one mana crystal and... Uh, Next turn we could get two lock and load triggers. <clears throat> I would ideally want more. But if the shaman gets out of control, I'm gonna have to pull some strings. Okay, so that's still just two triggers. So I feel like I'm gonna set up the explosive and do this. Lock and Load is a really interesting deck to play, because you really have to plan out your turns for the ultimate Lock and Load payoff. And uh, if you get good stuff from Lock and Load, it all works out. Okay, he triggers the first trap. He's, he's really careful with these traps, he's triggering them like, okay. That is a flame tongue totem if I ever saw one. And a thing from below. Okay, I think we might just. Yeah, we have to do lock and load. Unfortunately. So let's go for it. First of all, this guy needs to go. Second of all. It's either this or this. He's probably gonna trigger this with something low cost. So I might as well kill this. And I get another trigger. Ooh, Hunter's Mark. That's gonna help. And we got the Explosive Shot, which is a card we're not running in the main deck. So this might actually be good. We deal 5 damage and 2 damage to adjacent ones. So it's going to work out great actually. If he's going to pop the shield, it's going to go even better. He's not popping the shield. Oh, that's a shame. No worries. We're still fine. I think we're doing the shot. And killing that. Setting up this. I mean, Aggro Shaman is really powerful in the current metagame, so we really have to tiptoe around here. Okay, that might be bad. That definitely is bad. The more minions he gets, the more screwed we are. Um, hmm. I kind of want to set up the explosive. But he's not going to trigger it, probably. We have Freezing and Explosive up, so... Summoning Stone, Animal Companion gives me two, three drops. And that's Huff Huff. Huff Huff is going to actually trade in this scenario. Can you believe it? What? Huffer? Trading? You must be out of your mind. Lava Burst. That hurts. Like a lot. But we still have good cards in the deck. We are not totally and utterly screwed. Freezing Trap helps. The Explosive Trap is going to be good. Okay. I think we can play out the hand. I think we can wait a turn until we play out the hand, really. Because we might top deck lock and load and then it's gonna be real good. So let's just pop the shield. I mean, I probably want to set up the explosive trap though. Yeah. We'll set up the trap and hold the other stuff in hand. This way it blows up his whole board. He's actually told him in before triggering the secret, which is really weird. That was a mistake if I ever saw one. 
I don't know why, but sure. Uh, then he goes Rockbiter for the Ghoul. Three cards in hand. He might still hold a Doom Hammer somewhere in there. He did not play anything else. Okay, we have a lot in the load. I think we can keep this in hand. This is gonna give us a card draw. Unless we top deck Yogg-Saron. Well, if we top deck Yogg-Saron, we're playing Yogg-Saron. If it's Call of the Wild, we're not gonna get to do the card draw thing. But he needs to play a minion for us to set it to help one, so we're gonna hero power and pass. And I don't think he can burst us from 16. I mean, he can play a lot of value minions, but I don't think he can burst us. Ah, Spirit Wolf. I almost forgot you were in there. And now we're gonna go lock and load. This guy's getting Hunters mocked. We're also playing Animal Companion. Now we're not gonna be drawing a card because we got these from the lock and load, but that's completely fine. Ooh, a King's Elect. We might just get to draw our 6-drop. And we get it! No, we don't want him to deal any damage, so we're gonna kill this guy. And next turn we can play our Savannah High Main and Infested Wolf. Or other things. Okay, he seems to be holding these two cards in hand, I wonder what they are. I wonder if they're even relevant in the current situation. Uh, I really want to go Hounds. I don't think I have one cost minions. But yeah, we're going Hounds. We are going to wipe his board. Well, almost wipe his board. I don't think that one totem is going to be too much of trouble, because I'm still at 16, he has 3 cards in hand. Oh, we have Feral Spirits, it's a bit bad, but I can deal with it. So far the lock and load is going okay, um, we're not drawing as many cards as I would like us to draw. But that's fine, we have more wolves, I mean hounds. We have dudes. Let's go! And we will kill this guy because he is a threat. We'll also play the wolf. Go hero power. We don't want him to have any minions that can be buffed, so we're doing this. We're at 16, we're fine. We can, we're probably already winning here, right? Um, yep, yeah, sure, go Finley. He's going to dig for something. What is he digging for here, really? Did we just win? We have lethal. Okay. That delays the inevitable. Okay, let's go for some damage. And that is lethal, actually. I did not count that, but we got it. So, it worked. See, we don't have to put minions in the deck when we just get them. Most of the time. And we are on a win streak, so that's neat. And as is tradition in the Hot Side Friday, we're gonna go straight into the next match. Uh, last time I recorded an episode where I had a uh, face cam. There was a webcam to my face. And uh, if you haven't seen that already, go give it a watch. I play Yogg-Saron Mage. And it's a pretty neat deck. And uh, you see my face react to Yogg-Saron stuff and things like that. Alright, we're up against an Anduin. Let's the hunt. Begin. The hunt is my playground. Okay, so we have this for his acolyte. We have this because we're not having it, and lock and load is a thing I really want in the opener. 
So we're gonna keep it. We have tracking and summoning stone. This is not gonna be relevant yet. I love to be on the coin with this deck. Is someone injured? Uh, we don't need to kill that right away. We are just going to pass. Greetings, and greet. No, he can buff it. Are you my master? But apparently it's a Cthulhu priest, so that's not gonna be a problem. Okay, I mean, we lose a trigger for lock and load, but... We want to kill his card draw engines. He's a priest. The only card draw engine that comes to mind is Nordshire. This is pseudo card draw here, but still, you get the point. Okay. We could go hounds, but I really don't want to go hounds in this current situation. But I feel like we really need to play some stuff. Um, you know what, I'll hero power and next turn go for lock and load, coin, tracking. Get some triggers in there. And if he plays more minions we can go hounds. I don't know if we want to go hounds. Is close. We, are, we actually might want to go hounds here. Sure. First one pops the shield. And these guys take care of the rest. Okay, next turn we go lock and load. These guys are dealing some damage. But I think we are okay now. Definitely okay. Uh, lock and load. Let's go for tracking first. That's a dread scale. That's awesome. Uh, arcane shot. We probably want that. Let's take the shot. And let's get explosive trap out there. Oh man, that's another call of the wild. Play the coin, get another dread scale, that's awesome. And play this, get Princess Huhuran. That's a lot of triggers. And we got so much value, double dread scale. Call of the Wild, Princess Huhuran. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation there, but anyway. And he is actually getting a lot of good stuff here too. So I am getting a little bit scared here. But the red scale seems fine. Or does it? I can't wipe the board, but I can get rid of two guys. Hmm. That's tricky. But let's go for it. We are removing... Some dudes. And that's totally fine because we have another dread scale ready to go. That's the trade. That's your last North Shark Cleric. And you only heal. Okay. Now we don't have a death rattle effect right now, so Huhuran doesn't do anything. I feel like we're going animal companion. And it's our friend the Huffer. The pig of great huffs. We're just gonna hero power and pass. Because we have a double call of the wild. We can play one next turn, it's gonna be awesome. Or we can save it. 
we're gonna play Summoning Stone and Animal Companion, but I feel like Let I want to save. That's not taking control of anything. Why would you do that? I am confused. You are really putting your eggs in that basket there. Um, like, wow, um, it's a pretty neat basket you have there. Would be a shame if someone were to do this. Double huffers! Double huffers! Can you believe it? Next turn we can have maybe double Leoc. Oh wait, we will have a another huffer, another Leoc, and another Misha. That is bonkers. How how are you gonna deal with that? And tomb is away, yeah sure. Because priest lost light bomb and that was like the best board clear. So I'm just gonna play another summon all three animal companions. And uh, I don't think the priest can deal with this. Uh, Holy Nova takes care of this. But oh wow, you got Yog Saron from shifting. <laughs> Huffer becomes Huffer, that's totally fine. <laughs> Okay, Leok dies. Oh wait, you had no mana. Leok doesn't die. You have been wow. <laughs> that was... Friggin' amazing. I mean, I mean, we don't even need Yogg Saron in this deck. I mean, he didn't even show up these matches. But you know who did show up and showed up big time? It was Lock and Load. And that is why Lock and Load is friggin' awesome. You should play Lock and Load. You can even play the deck I played right there. You can even take Cthune, I mean, friggin' Yogg Saron out of the deck. Because he doesn't need to be there. You can just put more spells or some other cool stuff in there. Maybe a Thorizen. Thorizen might have been okay. But Thorizen kind of screws over Summoning Stone in a weird way. But that's not the worst thing to happen, right? Anyway... That was this week's episode of Hot Side Friday. I'm Jason Mr. Poof, and I hope you're having a wonderful time, because this was an amazing deck. At least in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's the episode. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I hope you'll tune in next week when we play another deck, another day, another deck. Anyway, that was the Hot Side Friday, and I'm out.